All right, no new requests, so nothing to do there. For our team for this one, I actually think this team works out just fine. From what I remember, this third jail boss is ice-based, of course, as you would expect. So we could bring Yusuke because he would resist ice, but also he won't be able to do much back in terms of ice. Should be weak to Sai. I assume she's also going to be weak to fire. I can't remember, so we'll bring on. So, like, do I want to bring Ryuji or... Hmm. On Haru Akira, obviously. It's just the last person who's, like, up near. Let's bring Makoto for more healing. We'll just, you know, bring the waifu squad. Waifu squad it is. Bow, bow. Zenkichi is the best thing about Strikers, in my opinion. Well, the best thing about Strikers is the soundtrack, to be honest. Like, have you heard Counter-Strike? Counter-Strike is the best track Persona has put out, period. It is the best Persona sound, like, the best Persona host of all time is Counter-Strike. Number one, for sure. But Zenkichi is a good runner-up. Zenkichi is really great. I don't really like Sophie all that much, but I really like Zenkichi. Let me rephrase, Zenkichi is the best non-soundtrack related thing in Strikers. Okay, you see, now we're on the same page. Now, now I can get down with that. This should be helpful. Which one? Ah, uh, these haven't restocked. I just wanted to see if I could get more revives. Uh, we don't have any more requests. We can pop in the Velvet Room for a second just to see if there's anything, but Welcome I don't think there should the be because we haven't room. done much other than the Trauma Room. It. Can I level you up? You lack the power Ah, uh, a little short, little short. If I kill this Lilum, maybe? Yeah, there we go. That Lilum was worth a lot more than I expected, actually. How much power will you- This is what you- I just want to see if- of your mask has Do you get Divine persona. Grace at level 28? You lack the power You needed. don't! You have to get to level 30? That's so annoying! Ah, oh, we gotta do it, though. Gotta do what you gotta do, though. Alright, I'm heading back. May Goodbye. Luck be on your side. Honestly, I think we just send the calling card and, like, make it happen. Save over this one. Let's go knock out the third jail, and we'll be able to move on. We should be able to get to the fourth jail today, probably. Probably. Send the calling card! Wait, I did, I did set up my team, right? <laughs> on Haru and Makoto? Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Send the calling card! Yeah! Wrong calling card! Yeah, I'm ready anytime. Haru, I take it we can leave this card's contents to you? Yes. Yes, I want to show Mari-san how I feel personally. You ought to rest, I'll get to riding. Tomorrow's the big day, let's give it our all, guys. Late in the night. Why am I getting a message from my sister? Okay, it doesn't matter. Good evening, Akira-kun. I'm sorry for the short notice, but could we meet up? I'd like to talk to you. If you have time, it would make me quite happy. I'll be waiting in front of the fountain. Haru, anything for you. You are, in fact, best girl, because Hifumi isn't in this game. Hello? I'm sorry to call you out so late. What's up? I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open to my mind, and my memories came pouring out. You have lids in your mind? My mind is just a mess, like I can't keep anything contained in there. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I forget someone I loved so much? Well, as someone in chat pointed out, she didn't exist when the original game was made, so, like, you know, pretty easy to forget someone who wasn't, you know, concepted of until this sequel came out. And yeah, it happens to the best of us. I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. All the times we spent together, and the moment he passed away, I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. 
At some point, I got used to hiding things away. And I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. That must have been hard. Thanks for understanding. To be honest, I feel like I was running from the past again. <sighs> a long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. Then of course I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? No, because eventually you fall down once and like your neck snaps and you die, right? And you don't get back up from that one. So like that that's the final falling down. But I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. Mm, yes, life will change. You're right. It's too late to save my father. Yeah, we've been over that. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Then let's change your heart. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. It's late. I should rest up for tomorrow. Hey. Hey, what's up? so upset over Mariko Kyoto. I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Yeah, and you say this every time. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. You will, eventually. Okay. I'll believe you. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> but I am humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow. I feel like... And I wonder if this is just me. But I feel like a lot of Sophie's... Okay, everyone. Are we ready to make Sapporo a paradise's purest snow? Don't interrupt me, woman. I'll push you off of that... that van. But anyways, um, I feel like throughout this game, so much of Sophie's stuff feels repetitive. Like... One of the other characters has, like, an important moment or something where, you know, the stuff with, like, On and Alice and Yusuke and, uh, Natsumi. And then every time after, it's like, oh, by the way, uh, uh, Sophie is gonna be like, hey, I don't have a heart and I don't understand. Can you explain what they just said to me as if I, you know, etc.? And it happens, like, every single time. And it, I don't know. It feels kind of repetitive to me to an extent. I feel like they did a better job with the whole, like, robot trying to feel human thing with Igis and Labrys. Although Labrys wasn't even doing much of, like, robot trying to feel human. She had other stuff going on. But for Igis, I think they did it better. I just find it so interesting how I find Sophie such a lame character, but I love Labrys, and I also really like Igis. I feel like they did so much better with, like, the robot girl trope with Igus and Labrys, like, far better than they did Sophie. Sophie just feels like... To me, she feels so much worse, comparatively. So I just don't really like her. And remember, on election day, please vote Mariko Hiyoto! Is there even anyone running against you? What is that? A calling card? Whoa, it's real! What's going on? 
Mariko Kyoto, the false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. This is... Say they're going to steal my desires? What a bold faced lie! Those desires are mine and mine alone! As long as I'm the monarch, I won't let anyone stop me! Very well. I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out! It'll all be over soon. Did you see a person like walking in between us just then fade out of existence? Yo, let's go. Mm, hacker voice I'm in. Play those funky tunes. All right, on Makoto Haru, let's do this. To the former government office. Let's go. We need to change Marisan's heart. Oh, I'm gonna change it. Don't you worry. Made it. How convenient. Dun 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 dun. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is... Look, Joker, I think you can climb up those chains. It happens literally every time, Futaba. Why are you acting surprised? It should be expected at this point. Look at my cane. <laughs> it's so long compared to his usual daggers. Hello, I have arrived to steal your desires. Fork him over. The Cage of Gluttony. Sorry about the wait. We're here to kick ass and... What? <laughs> Max Middleman had a lot of fun with that line. I hate eating noises like this in games and all. It actually makes me feel sick. I'm guessing this is Hyoto's distorted form. What do you people want? You are best. Best not get in my way. Oh, oh I'm almost there. There are a few more votes and I'll win re-election. This is wrong, Mari-san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse one by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Ah! You shut your impudent mouth! I've done nothing wrong! I will wring out every ounce of corruption from my staff by working them into the ground! I'll silence all charlatans who betray me! And I will consume every last vote in the city! Whether these people agree with me or not, only then can I build a safe haven, a radiant snow city that sparkles like winter. Release the desires you stole, you freak. To him. When you take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. It's really funny hearing a phantom thief say that because that's basically what they do when they change someone's heart in the first game. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? 
Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To follow their own hearts? Unless we disagree with the- uh, disagree. Unless we disagree with the conclusions their hearts reached, in which case we change their hearts to make them do- like, to immediately change the way they act. How dare you lecture me! Good job, Muir. You tell her. mari son. say goodbye to the countless desires you stole. Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves are about to take them back. Honestly, they're all in my way. This is the last straw. You've made me so very hungry. Still have time. And the main course is ah! Yeah, that was disgusting. What you're doing is wrong, so we'll be taking those desires back. Shut your pretty little mouth! What would you know? I will consume all who oppose me, no matter who they are! You either eat or be eaten. I, I guess I choose to eat even though I don't really want to. Wow, you're only weak to curse and Sayo. You're not weak to fire. Fire can hit you, though. I'm glad we didn't bring Ryuji. You're strong against Nuke, which sucks. The cat or Sophie would have been better than Makoto here, but it's fine. Man, Blooming Villain is so good. Like, Blooming Villain is always good, but it is even better in this remix. It's incredible. Oh, that's right. You have a spin around move. Got to remember that. Die, you freak. Die. No, don't turn to look at me. I don't want to look at your face. It disgusts me on a personal level. There we go. Moi Kai. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, you rage yourself. Which means Sayo is now a technical. Pog. Hey, check this out. Frozen chandelier. Oh, that actually knocks you out of rage. Honestly, I should have left you in rage longer to hit you with more Sayo. It would have done better. Oh, that's the spin around move. Get out of the way. Can't touch this. Excuse me, Miss Snow Empress. I really need you to, like, stop living. It would mean a lot to me, personally. You sickened me. I'm the one who sickened here. Don't you dare try and say otherwise. No one should be more sickened than I am. Joker died? No, that's the spin around move. Thank goodness that takes so long. I am so sick of the game's AI being so bad. Hey, you should rage yourself again. That'd be really cool. Can't touch this. Did the AI jump that? Could I jump that to avoid it instead of running back? I'd rather just run back to like for sure dodge it, but interesting to consider. Yeah, I think you can just jump it. The AI jumps it every time. Interesting. Of course it's gonna be rough. We're fighting a... a jail monarch. Of course the AI that died was Jokers, by the way. The one who has, uh... Recarm. Ow. Get Sayo. Thanks for jumping closer to my giant hurricane of Sayo power. You ain't get me with that. You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to hit me. Oh, she's spinning. She's spinning. She spun further than I thought she would. You sickened me. Sayo, 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 Sayo. Gotta get out of the way. Not today. Oh, spin move. Yeah, bringing Panther actually really sucks with you not being weak to fire. I really thought you would be. 
if you had been weak to fight, because now, like, you use ice, which, uh, Panther is weak to. But there's no benefit of Panther being able to hit you with things you're weak to. Yo, Showtime? Nice. Uh-oh. Somebody help! Drop that chandelier on her. Make her spit up from the impact. I'm just gonna do this. Would you care to join us? Poor Panther. Her cognitive self, like, Kick got her. swallowed by Kamashita's shadow in the first game. And now her real self is getting eaten by this freak. Oh, Showtime also frees the person. Nice. I didn't think that would happen. I was just focusing on using my Showtime so I could start charging it again. Can't touch this. Can you get out of this corner, please? I need to, like, get behind you. I'm always focused. This is fine. Stop. Someone's getting eaten. Did she miss or did she? No, she just missed, I guess. Or she got on again. I should probably res Joker now. Because I think him being alive or not might actually affect how much damage we do with, uh... With this all-out attack. Bam, bam. That did no damage. You do have a phase two, right? I don't remember how your phase two works. We've almost got her at half. This is going pretty well. All things considered. Hopefully Joker's AI doesn't just, like, die again. I want to get close to it. I hate that she's in this corner. Can she get out of this corner, please? Oh, she mad. Sayo. Uh-oh. Yeah, you can just jump it. Pog. Following up. How did you end up turned around here? Oh, get out of the corner, please. Boy, Kai. Oh, halfway point. Please stop. I'll you up. 